do you know that there are two voices that talk to you? I mean, up in here, nobody else is hearing them. I'm not talking about hallucinations. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman. I'm really glad you joined me here today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. Well, a metaphysical ministry is all about that 99% of the world that you don't experience because it's not something you can see or hear or taste or smell or touch. And in fact, the little voice I'm talking about, it's not actually something you hear as much as you feel. Well, sometimes you hear it, but we'll be there in just a minute because we get every week with a happy share. And that's something that leaves you feeling really happy and really, really good. And I'm extremely happy because somebody in my family I'm really close to just called me a few minutes ago to tell me that the trauma and the health problem that he's been having for months seems to be all cleared now. And that's a really big deal. Because I love them. So, what I wanted to go into now was the little voices. There are two of them that you hear. One of them is actually your spirit talking to you. Well, your higher self. Your higher self knows you, everything about you, your past, your present, and even your future. Your higher self knows the direction, the journey that you're taking on your spiritual path. And after all, you are a spiritual being living a human experience. So what's that other voice I talked about? Well, that's the voice that you're listening to instead of listening to me right now. See, right now there's a little voice in your head and it's telling you about what I'm saying. It's telling you what it agrees with. It's telling you what makes sense. It's telling you what doesn't make sense. It might even been saying, this is enough. I'm bored. I'm out of here. Well, I'm glad you weren't out of here because that little commentator is trying to keep you safe and it's trying to do that by not letting you make changes. It's not allowing in new or fresh information. In fact, one of its most powerful weapons are the words, I know that. Because what happens when you hear that little voice in your head say, I know that? You shut down. You're not allowing anything that's new or different or challenging for you. But it's living out of your past. And it's gauging whatever experiences or thoughts are going on by your past when maybe what it was saying made sense for you as a little kid. It doesn't make sense for you now. So how can you stop that commentator from yakking at you? Well, it's very simple, thankfully. All you have to say is, thank you for sharing. And it will go away. It will come back as I say more and more things, or you experience more and more things in your life that it doesn't want you to change. However, you can always pull out your powerhouse word. Thank you for sharing. Now, that other voice, the one that's your spirit, that's your higher self, is also sending you messages all the time. But it doesn't always speak them. And here's the metaphysical part that you won't get until you learn how to hear, to accept, to recognize those messages that are coming in. You ever feel just a gut feeling that says, okay, you're riding down the highway, it says, turn right here. We're going off this exit instead of the usual one. No explanation, and you say, huh, why? I don't want to go off that exit, it won't get me, or I'm going this fast. That, you may be calling it your intuition. That is your higher self, your spirit saying, I know there's a roadblock up ahead, or I know that there's going to be an accident, let's keep you clear of it. Of either being in the accident or backed up in traffic, let's get out here. Or, maybe there's something you've been looking for, Maybe there's a particular book you want. You can't find it anywhere. And you never go off at this exit. But today when you go off and you walk into a little store that only has a tiny book section, my goodness, there's that book you've been looking for. Anyway, as I said, that's a feeling that you get. And if you say why, you don't get a response. And that is how you tell the difference 
between your commentator that doesn't want you to change and your spirit talking to you. Your spirit also may talk to you in other ways. It may have you flipping radio stations and catch just a snippet of a song, just two or three words that you needed to hear right then. Maybe you pass by a billboard and catch, you can't read a whole billboard, right? But maybe you'll see one or two words up there and that's the answer you've been looking for all morning or maybe all week. Learn to differentiate between the messages coming from your spirit and the little voice, the commentator that's telling you about life, keeping you from actually living your life and your higher self and watch your world change. Also, you can learn how to connect, communicate directly with your spirit. So you always make choices that are in your highest and best interest. If you're on the website and you look up there, you will see a page called Hold the Spaceport. What is it in your life that's not there that you'd really like to have? Maybe it's a vacation and you can't figure out how you're going to afford it. Or maybe it's a vacation and you don't know where you want to go. Maybe it's a new relationship. Maybe you're looking for a new friendship. Or maybe you're looking for a new partner. Maybe you want to go back to school, but you don't know what you want to do. Maybe you're trying to figure out your life purpose. Whatever it is, tell us down there. Seriously, tell us. Because what we'll do is we'll put it up there on the Hold the Space for a page. And then you come back at least once a week. You know, when you put out a message, it makes a thought form. And the universe probably hears it right away. But what if 5, 10... 15, 100 people come back. They read your name and what it is you want. And you do the same for every name on that page. That thought form's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then it's really grabbed the attention of the universe because the universe isn't going to bring you something unless it knows that you want it. That you full out 100% want it and believe it's going to come to you. So tell us what it is. And tell everybody you know to come back. Read each name and the request. And then, it doesn't matter if you don't know who the people are. Because guess what? The universe certainly does. If you haven't done so already, go on over there and put in your name and email address. I'll send you a copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. Again, thank you so much for coming by. Really appreciate your clicking like and share. Because you know what? I started this online ministry because I couldn't find a group of spiritually like-minded people where I used to live. In many places where I used to live, in fact. So I thought, hey, most people who are doing spiritual searches have a computer. Let me communicate with them and here we can create our spiritual community of people who are seeking to really understand what it means to be a spiritual being living a human experience. I wish you a week full of many blessings and definitely use your new tool. Use your new tool. Thank you for sharing so you can live your life in a present and make your choices and clearly recognize messages from your own 